Alright, what is going on guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf and this is Marfugal News. We have the beginning of war. Uh, there's no better way to put this. We have called this for a very long time along with everyone in our community. Again, your friends and family probably thought you were crazy when you told them that you believed war was coming and that all of this stuff was going down. Uh, but this is exactly what we thought was going to happen. So there is no shock or surprise that this is happening in the Middle East, uh, but no one wanted it to see it actually happen. Uh, now, what is going down? We're going to give you a brief update on all of that, including uh, the, the overwhelming of the Iron Dome system, uh, what is happening there. Uh, they believe that they are preparing for even a larger strike. And then, of course, here in the U.S., we are at risk. All of our allies are at risk right now. And then this is just on top of everything else, all of our other adversaries around the world. So we're going to cover that now. Uh, Iran ready is over 100 cruise missiles for possible strike against uh, Israel. So this, this uh, actually gives us a a good idea of kind of uh, all of the real highlights. And again, later on tonight's show, we're going to go over all of this. Uh, so make sure to tune in for that. Uh, we're, of course, going to talk about the alert U.S. sends reinforcements to Middle East uh, amid fears of Iran attack. A large number of Iron Dome missiles were launched in the Upper Galilee. After a salvo of 50 mis uh, missiles were launched from Lebanon, Israel's Channel 12 reports Home Front Command has sent hospitals a message in the last hour asking hospital managers to ensure staff availability. The White House has confirmed a change in U.S. force and alert posture across the Middle East, but has refused to go into further detail. Tales. Uh, the group Hez, Bo, and mm, appears to have ramped up its missile salvos over northern is Ray and L. It says there are also new reports that the U.S. Navy has parked an advanced missile ship just off of Is's coast, readying to an assist with a possible response. So we're going to show you a, a video here uh, in two seconds, but I do want to remind you, we are completely independent, and we've actually given you options to protect yourself. One of the most crazy and most probable scenarios as far as a response from Iran uh, we have talked about for years is an EMP. If you want to protect your vehicles from it, go over to marfuglenews.com slash EMP. Not only will you support independent channel at the same time, uh, you will also be getting a huge discount and you'll be protecting yourself against either an EMP strike or multiple EMP strikes or even a Carrington level event from the sun. It's easy to put in 10 minutes. You don't have to be a mechanic and your car will run after several EMPs. Again, hopefully that never happens, but again, it is the most probable because it is the, uh, it is the first strike uh, response to say something like this. Now, as far as uh, the, the videos that are coming out right now, we wanted to let you know we actually verified a lot of this. So it's not just we're showing you videos off of Twitter and saying, oh, this is what's going on. Uh, there's actually stuff to back this up. Uh, but this was a post by Iran Girl. It says a second Hezbollah volley of missiles is on its way, depleting the Iron Dome. Just as I predicted hours ago, the Iron Dome is being overwhelmed in preparation for Iran's retaliation. So let's bring my code slash internet brother, Dex James. What is going on and how are you doing today? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugle fam. I'm doing just fine, but obviously things are getting quite uh, hairy right now in the Middle East, and it's very concerning. So so first of all, her, what she is saying is that essentially that they are trying to overwhelm the Iron Dome system, send a volley so big that they use up a ton of their Iron Dome system so that they can get in between the cracks. The Iron Dome system is a defense system. It can shoot, it can shoot pretty much anything out of the sky. It is an incredible system. It is uh, the difference between it and other countries. You fire a missile at uh, Israel, you know, 90% of the time, everything gets taken down by the Iron Dome system. They call it the Iron Dome, obviously, because it's like a dome over uh, it, over Israel. Uh, it can protect it. It's, it's like a, a force field, or at least that's what people have compared it to. Uh, Dex, as far as the kind of backup to this, they are saying that there are these huge volleys going over. This is exactly what we talked about last week and the week before uh, this big kind of retaliation. That, that's correct. And it, this doesn't seem like the big retaliation. This seems like, as they're describing, either a test or 
not really a test, but a, um, a, a way to sort of deplete or put pressure on the dome because they're firing over a lot of light stuff, easy stuff right now. Um, and they're, you know, basically popping off $50,000 missiles at a pop just to take down these, uh, these smaller uh, type rockets that come from the HES. Now, they also had uh, drones that were uh, laden with explosives that went across. They had to take those out. Um, they've had a lot of different things uh, happening today. And a lot of this looks like that precursor or maybe even that test or that notion of, hey, can we, you know, create a weak, a weak spot, a weak area? Can we deplete them? Um, what does it take? What would it look like? And then, you know, that would be the cover that would then allow um, somebody like Iran to put in the uh, the cruise missiles as they're readying. And the readying of those has come, you know, from intelligence sources and others have said it as well. And they say that Iran is expected to attack is by the uh, week's end or at least within the coming days. However, the degree of telegraphing has almost taken the teeth out of the threat and Iran hopes to accomplish it in its retaliation. Uh, one of the quotes here is Iran is calibrating its plans for a major retaliatory strike against Israel. This is a war starting. This is exactly what everyone thought was going to happen. And most hoped that all of a sudden that there would be some sort of negotiation, that there would be some sort of peace deal, that they would both sign, they would take some pictures and everybody would go back home. But that's not what is happening. That's not what prophecy said was going to happen. That's not what uh, experts said was going to happen. Uh, many saw this coming from a million miles away. What does this mean for us here in the U.S.? Well, we're going to talk about that on our next show. We're actually going to go into in depth all of these key points as far as all of the things that just happened, including canceled flights. Uh, they actually just canceled uh, all flights to and from Iran. And flight trackers have also indicated that the skies above Israel are completely clear of civilian aviation. This is the beginning of war. This is what we knew was coming. And uh, a lot of people were really, really hesitant to believe it. But uh, I told I told all of you, people, your friends and family weren't going to believe you until it was reported in big letters on the front of New York Times or whatever they do read. Uh, so I hope I hope everything goes well here. But this is why we prep. We'll see you over on Marfugal TV again. Thank you, Dex. Appreciate you. And uh, Make sure to click right here if you want to get to that show. You'll have to be watching the replay. And right here will be the link to the next show. We'll see you in just a minute with full and complete breakdown of what just happened. Fallout. Is the end we all suck?